This is the Fisher Paykel GWL11. It got submerged in about a foot of water in my basement. So I took the whole thing apart, hoping to repair it. And I think it's going to be the circuit board being burned out. Um, this is a wonderful machine if anyone owns one. If you own one you're, uh, and you're looking on this page right now, it's because you're having problems. Um, so, you know, it's, it, it, there's not many moving parts in this thing. They've, they've got it all worked out to this computer board over here. And, and that's how they measure everything. So if you're having issues with the motor spinning and stuff like that, it's probably that circuit board. It's a hundred dollar part. Um, but if you own one of these things, you know how great they are, how they spin out the water with this drum. I mean, the clothes come out almost dry, wash and wear. Um, so if you're gonna take this thing apart, the, um, the cabinet does not have any holes in it, like the old GE where you have to change the belt. It's hollow on the bottom, so you can get to the motor on the bottom. Um, but to open it, you're going to see these little rubber plugs over here on the sides. Um, you're going to pop those out, and there's just a Phillips screw. Take those out, and then there's these things right here that are actually hinges, so this whole top will pivot up. Um, you pop the little softener cap off, and there's a wing nut down at the bottom of the agitator. That comes right off. And then uh, when that's off, you know, you can pull the, then you can pull the drum out. And when the drum's out, you just have... This thing's sticking out. I'm amazed how clean it is in here. This machine's 10 or 12 years old, but it's just me and it, you know, it's a second home, so it doesn't get much use. But I would have thought this thing would be all grungy inside, and it's not. So the machine kind of cleans itself, which is really cool. Or it keeps itself clean somehow. It's, it's made so it doesn't get built up lint and everything. So this is the computer. I think that's good. There's the keyboard. There's the you know touchpad in there. Um, now when I put this thing back together, it will self-diagnose, which is really cool. So how you do that is you press on the uh, the wash temp, and you press power at the same time, and it opens in diagnostic mode, and you start getting codes on here. And then I think in here this might tell you the codes are off to look up online, but this little package thing was right about there underneath the uh, underneath this control panel. And there's two screws on the back. You take that to get to those. There's the wing nut for the uh, for the agitator. These are the how the drum is hanging in the frame. And there's one that has a little spring on it, which is opposite from the hoses. And I put a piece of tape there to know where that, that goes. Um, the, you know, the discharge hose comes out through there. Um, oh, what else? Oh, yeah, okay. So this is the. Uh, this is the other half of the motor. It's like a magnetic drum, and um, and uh, you need a five-eighth socket to get that off. And the whole thing rotates, so you have to bump it with your fist to get it to uh, to get it to unscrew. And that comes right off. And when you spin it down, it just keeps winding down, winding down. So it's not like you take the nut off and you got to pry it off. It just kind of the nut extracts it, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know what else the. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, this is Fisher Paykel. It's made in New Zealand. It's uh, it's a fabulous machine. Anybody who owns one knows it. And uh, so mine got wet, so I'm trying to fix it. And so I'm going to put it back together and see what happens. I'll do the self-diagnosis. I got a feeling that board will be burned out, so I'll be buying that uh, online in about an hour or less. And uh, so anyhow, wish me luck. See ya. Good luck.